Oh, Jake Paul, what the hell are you getting yourself into again? There is video of Jake Paul in the middle of people looting. Now mind you, in the video, you don't see him breaking anything. You don't see him stealing anything. But why the hell is a white, privileged, rich man in the middle of that chaos? But not only that, why do you have your film crew with you? I need an explanation. So he came out with a video called The Looting Situation Explained. Deleting soon. I'm gonna have my mind open because I wanna hear his explanation. Cause right now it does not look good to me. And you the viewers, I want you to have an open mind as well because we weren't there. We weren't there to witness the whole situation, but I will be going off of what he says in this video. So if I have an opinion that still stands by what I thought, that's on you, Jake Paul. That means you didn't explain your situation well, or you were really out there trying to be in the middle of it and doing some stupid shit. But let's go ahead and watch this video. Y'all ready? Let's get it. So over the weekend, as I'm sure a lot of you guys probably saw, I became the number one trending topic on Twitter. People were mad at me because they assumed that me and my friends were loot. Okay. He already fucked up. He already fucked up. Why does he have to say that? Why does he have to say that he's number one trending on Twitter? Like, why? Why even that? Okay, come on, Jake Paul, man. Please, make the situation right. Vandalizing and breaking down storefronts. And that's the way it looked on camera. However, that isn't the case, and there's a lot more to not only that story, but there's tons of other issues and things that we need to address about what's going on with America right now. And I just want to dive- oh. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe this video is about clearing his name and maybe he's actually gonna talk about the cause on hand, about what's really going on and maybe he can shed light and show his viewers what kind of America that we're living in. Or this is his way of, yes, still clearing his name, but why do you wanna talk about Black Lives Matter now after you were attacked with the whole looting video? Why didn't you make a video before that? Explain to me, please immediately to say what happened to George Floyd isn't okay and there needs to be change. There's no room in America for police brutality and racism. The fact that people still have a mindset to treat other people differently based on their skin color is absurd. And as someone who is a believer in change and making change and someone who wants to take action, I've always tried to use my platform to raise awareness for things that I believe in. It sets me when people have the power to make a difference and they don't. It's easy to just post something on social media, which I've done. It's easy just to donate to, to a cause, which I've done. But I'm the type of person who wants to be ground floor and involved in the change firsthand. And this situation to me felt- Hold on, what was that? What was that donation to? Things go by really quickly and I wanna make sure I catch it. It's easy just to donate. Okay. To the People City Council Freedom Fund. On June 1st is when he did his donation. When was this video of him looting? Now let me do my little investigation because I don't wanna criticize a man for donating money if he truly meant to donate and to help out. Inside Edition showed this video of Jake Paul. This was on June 1st. The same day that Jake Paul decided to give a donation. It seems here that this happened at night. He could have given the donation during the day or maybe this is early morning and then later in the day he gave his donation. I don't know but I'm gonna show you the video that I'm talking about in case he doesn't show it on his video. Oh my god, it's getting crazy. So he's there in the Jake middle. Paul says he and his team did not participate in looting and vandalism at an Arizona mall. Video of the YouTube star and his team members at the Scottsdale Fashion Square was posted to Instagram by Andrew Blue, who claims to be Logan's videographer. The video shows people breaking windows of the shopping center outside. It also shows what happened inside, including people smashing the windows of a display car and entering a Sephora through the broken glass door. Hey yo, give me a free hey. cologne! Paul came under- Who said that? Give me a free cologne. I don't know. This isn't for the video, but took to social media to defend himself, saying, to be absolutely clear, neither I nor anyone in our group was engaged in any looting or vandalism. For context, 
We spent the day doing our part to peacefully protest one of the most horrific injustices our country has ever seen. Andrew Blue also defended their actions, writing, We were strictly documenting the situation and doing our part to use our platform to raise awareness about this horrific event and the overall injustice. What Excuse me? If you haven't seen my video, please click on to that. I was part of a peaceful protest in Chicago. I marched and chanted for five hours straight. Five hours straight. Peacefully. And that's what I filmed because the media will not show you that. So Jake, you go inside of a mall where all the looting is happening. You, you decide, you decide to go inside of a mall to capture and document all this looting and rioting. How are you giving your part to share awareness on racism, Black Lives Matter, equality, and police brutality. You are showing people fucking shit up because that's the type of shit that you do and that you like watching. I'm not saying that you looted because honestly, you're dumb as hell if you ever did. And I don't, and I don't believe you did because I think there would have been video of, of you breaking something, literally. But you're just as guilty being around those looters. And if you haven't realized already, yes, I'm against the riots and the looting because that does not give George Floyd any type of justice at all. Many outraged over the killing of George Floyd in Minnesota peacefully protested across the country. Others have taken the opportunity to commit acts of violence and vandalism. While Paul insists he is not one of them, he understands the outrage and the anger felt by many and was there. Okay, you see this guy? He stole, uh, he stole some type of liquor bottle from that store. He hands it to Jake Paul. It shows that he accepts it. I don't know if you ever give it back. If you accept that liquor bottle, you're just as guilty of looting. Show his support. For InsideEdition.com. Okay, so I did my little investigation. I'm still not 100% sure that he donated money after or before that situation. So we're gonna go ahead and continue the video to a cause, which I've done. But I'm the type of person who wants to be ground floor and involved in the change firsthand. And right. this situation to me felt no different from when I went down to help with the hurricanes in Houston to when I went to Parkland, Florida to be ground floor with the students there after they had a horrific school shooting. Since I was a kid, I've constantly volunteered for organizations, donated to charitable causes, and wanted to be involved in my community. And this George Floyd tragedy wasn't something that I could just look past. And being a filmmaker and someone who documents virtually everything that happens in my life to be able to share it with the world, I wanted to use my platform and film what was going on and what is going on in our country as we speak to be able to share and spread the message to the world and raise awareness that we shouldn't just be standing there doing nothing. So when we heard that there was protests that were going to be taking place in Arizona, we wanted to be involved and show our support. The story of what happened is actually pretty simple and it was twisted and exploited by the media to be something that it wasn't. Right okay. around 10 p.m. when the protests were supposed to be starting, we followed people to where everyone said that the protests were happening. As we started to walk down the street, we were blown away by what we were starting to see. The first thing I saw was when I looked to the right and saw that the side of a mall window had been completely shattered. Then as we kept on going, we noticed that all of the buildings in the whole entire area, the glass was completely shattered. Quite frankly, I was in shock and didn't know what to make of the situation. But we kept on walking because we still hadn't seen where people were protesting and we still wanted to be involved. We got okay. to a street that seemed to be the center of where everything was going on. And that's when I saw probably 80 cops standing shoulder to shoulder just like looking out into the crowd. As I was approaching, more people were gathering the protests and about 200 yards down the street from me was an Apple store that was getting completely ransacked. I saw dozens of people breaking down the glass, running into the store, grabbing whatever they could and leaving. The battalion of cops was in between me and the Apple store. And as I started to walk down the street more, all of a sudden out of nowhere I heard <laughs> and see this thing flying in the air at my feet. Damn. It lands two feet away from me, explodes, go, 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 go. and like this big gas cloud comes, Damn. hits me, hits me in the side of the face. I start choking, coughing, running backwards, and was completely in shock at what the fuck had just happened. Here I am, just a person, walking down the street, and all of a sudden I'm getting tear gas shot at me. This is when I got pissed the fuck. This must just be a small fraction of what- How does that feel? How does that feel? Black men and women and even children have been treated that way. Innocent, in the streets, walking, minding their own business. And they get attacked by police officers who are supposed to be protecting you, who end up killing you. 
who shoot at you, who physically tackles you to the ground, knee on the neck. How does that feel? How does that feel? People are facing on a day-to-day -day basis with police. As I started to retreat, there was three more canisters of tear gas shot at me and the group of people around us. At that point in time, not only was I pissed, not only was I uh, in shock, and not able to not able to really see because my eyes were fucked up but i just didn't know what the fuck to do and i was documenting the whole entire thing at that point okay as of right now that's fine everything they're showing right now i'm okay with some of the strangers around us got pissed off as well and started throwing rocks and started throwing the tear gas back at the cops adrenaline still pumping not knowing what the fuck is going on i remove myself from that situation and go across the street this is where i find about 15 people breaking down the front of a pf chang store and this is one of the most absurd things i have ever seen in my fucking life look at Some this girl to me and ask look at this girl look at this girl most absurd things i have ever Trying to break that glass. Why? In the media, all they show are colored men and women looting and breaking things. Does she look like a colored person to you? In my fucking life. Some kid came up to me and asked me if I needed a first aid kit and offered me uh, milk to pour into my eyes to help with the tear gas. Another girl's breaking down the front of the store. People are inside of it, trashing it, stealing stuff from the inside. Meanwhile, that's what, that's one thing that I loved about the protest that I was in and I'm pretty sure in a lot of protest groups, everyone looked out for each other. I had a number on my hand with 333 that adds up to nine. Everyone in the group had three numbers on their hand that added up to that number nine. So if someone was on the ground and they saw that person with that number, they knew that there was th that person was part of our group. We had medics. We had people with first aid kits. We had people with milk. We had people with water, with snacks. We were looking out for each other. And it's sad to hear that from a police scanner, they're saying things like, look out for people with backpacks on because most likely those are looters. Are you kidding me? Just so you are aware, that is a false statement. Almost all of us had backpacks on and it was to hold all those items that I just listed. Crazy. Throughout this chaos, half the group that we were with got separated and we were trying to locate them and find them. During all this confusion, chaos, sensory overload, sirens, things exploding, someone comes up to me while I'm filming, just hands me something, I didn't even know what it was at the time, to later find out that someone handed me a bottle of vodka for what reason, I don't know. Seconds later, I set the bottle on the ground, still not even knowing what it is, and I continue to document what the fuck was going on. At that and th I do believe him, because he lightly just touched it, like, slowly. It did look like... He, he really didn't need it, or he really didn't want it. In time, we decided to remove ourselves from the chaos and make our way back towards our car to go home. However, the police had dozens and dozens of officers on each street corner blocking off certain streets and not allowing people to go down certain areas. After about a half a mile of walking, we see another battalion of cops and decide to go right, away from them and towards the mall. As we approach the mall, I see one of the most absurd things I've ever seen in my life. Hundreds of people running in and outside of the mall with bags, stealing everything inside of the mall. In hindsight, everything's 2020, and we shouldn't have been anywhere near what was going on, and we should have removed ourselves from yes. the situation. But in the heat- You should have. That's where you failed, Jake. I never once said that you were part of the looting. You should have never been there. After my five hour march, the march kept on going. The group kept getting bigger. More and more people were coming. But as it was getting later, I knew that something can erupt because it's been happening. That's when I decided to leave because I am not going to be a part of that chaos because that is not why I was there for. And that's something you should have thought about, Jake. And your team, someone in your team should have told you that. You gotta know your circle. In the moment, I wanted to document what was going on and witness it for myself. And that's where I made the poor decision to go inside of the mall. And at the time, my mindset was that I wanted to document this experience because I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I don't know if anything will ever happen like this again in our lifetime. I'm just here, I'm just here to document it. I'm not doing nothing. So you want to document it because you don't know if something like that will ever happen again. So you want to be a witness to it. I don't know. What if something like this doesn't ever happen again? I have to film it. I have to be there. What if I'm 50? What if I'm 80? And then something like this never happens again. I have to be there. Is that a good reason for you to be there? Is that a good enough reason for you to be there? That sounds selfish as fuck. <sighs>
First of all, the vandalism and looting isn't helping spread the proper message. It's making the whole entire situation worse because it creates this loop and effect of more hatred and more crime. There but yet, that's what you wanted to document. That's what you wanted to show. That's what you wanted to see. Boy, if you don't. In peaceful protests, and that just hasn't worked. That hasn't gotten the message across. But we are a young generation with social media, and we are powerful, and our voices are powerful. And together, we can make a difference. I don't have the answers. I don't know if anyone has the exact answers, but I don't think looting, vandalizing, and breaking people's property is the way to go about this. What I do like is the accountability that this generation holds other people to. We can, with our voices, get an officer arrested for killing someone in a tragic way. We did, and we did that, we accomplished that. We can't start to focus on the district attorneys that are in office, the sheriffs, the, the chiefs of police. We can make a difference through voting the proper leaders into our government. This is what's happening, this is our America, and right now is not the time to attack each other. Right? This guy, <laughs> this guy. So, he fucked up, he knew he fucked up. He wants to clear his name because he fucked up. And now let me tell you what you need to do. Listen, Jake, work on yourself. Really understand yourself and understand why you do the things that you do. Just saying. Time to evolve and make change as a unit. And all those businesses who are being vandalized and broken into who are just holding on by a thread because they already didn't have enough money to pay their employees That's because so of coronavirus sad. and quarantine that is so are sad. now even more in ruins because of the vandalism that they have to deal with now. There was an old handicapped grandma crying on the news because her local grocery store was completely ransacked and it's the only one in the area and she couldn't get any food. How does the destruction of property help this situation? And what does it look like for our communities to be able to come back and have to rebuild from all of this? And that's why the situation was so upsetting for me to wake up, number one, training on Twitter, of people accusing me of vandalizing and looting and stealing. I'm above that. I don't need to vandalize, I don't need to loot, and I know it's not the way forward. However, I don't regret and I will continue to document things that I think need to be shared with America. If along that process people want to accuse me of things that they know I'm not doing because my name is Jake Paul, then so be it. I'm an easy target. I know I am. He yes. always says this. He's always, he always turns it into him being a victim. It's because my name is Jake Paul. I swear to you, have you guys been following Jake and his journey? That is his excuse all the time. People attack me because my name is Jake Paul. He never sees where he's wrong. He never sees it. And it's because of his team around him. They're yes men. Stand up to him and tell him where he's wrong. And if he doesn't appreciate that, then end the relationship with him because you're just as guilty. It's the same when it comes to racism. If your friend is a racist and says racist remarks in front of you, stop him or her from saying those things and have that conversation. Have that conversation and try to change that person's mind because somewhere down the line in their life, it went wrong. And if you care about that person, you want them to change for the better. And if you choose not to do that, then you're just as guilty. Just like those three officers that were there not talking to his fellow officer who killed George Floyd. They're just as guilty and that's why they have been arrested as well. Jake Paul, take responsibility, have some type of accountability because right now you're pissing me the fuck off. But I'm not the only one that feels this way or thinks this way. Change yourself. But it's not gonna stop me from doing what I love to do. There are certain situations and circumstances that I shouldn't put myself in and I have learned from this situation and I will continue to become a better person. All you can do when you make mistakes as a human is get better from them. But don't let your mistakes define you. I end this video challenging you guys to get involved, have a voice, donate, don't just sit there, make change. No one necessarily has all the answers, but we clearly as a generation want to make change and we will continue to do so. Vote the proper officials in, protest, and get your community involved so we can make America a better place. And he ends the video with Black Lives Matter. Regardless of what his reason is behind that, I still stand by it because the message is still there, Black Lives do matter. Unfortunately, this video of his made me still feel the same way and think the same way about him from those looting videos. <sighs> what are we doing? What are we doing? All right, you guys, well, 
Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.